Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I don't normally look so much like a tired little toe that's gone 10 rounds with Mike Tyson, I promise you. But today, because we done our Christmas food shop, I do. <laughs> So we went to Aldi and Asda and we tried to get their four store opening just so we didn't have to faff about and we could get everything we wanted and needed um, for the Christmas period and the few days kind of either side to avoid us having to leave the house. So without further ado, I am going to show you our festive Christmas whatever grocery haul. Just a quick side note, there is a lot, a lot of snacks, plastic, um, and yeah, stuff like that. So no judgment, this is a judgment free channel, so if you're going to moan at me for the amount of crisps I've got, or the amount of things in plastic packaging, then please don't. I am fully aware, but... It is what it is, it's Christmas, I'm pregnant, I'm heavily pregnant, so I don't care. So I'm going to start over this side because I know I will forget to show you it otherwise. I mean, there's nothing particularly exciting, but just in case you were wondering, but where's all your like drinks and things like that? It's here. So I got a couple, couple of cupboard essentials just because we were running out. So I've got some ketchup, some tuna, and some pasta bake just because I always have one of those in the freezer if you've watched any of my grocery hauls before then you will know that I always have to have a pasta bake in the cupboard I think I just said freezer I'm not sure we've got some very indulgent treats for the cat so she really likes these licky licks yogurt things so we've got two different flavors I don't think she said either of these before so we've got the cheese and taurine and liver sausage and cat grass and they were 80p each in Asda and then she has some Sheba um, trays which granted I'm glad that I can at least recycle the packaging but they're fucking expensive so yes yeah, she doesn't normally get these she normally just has bog standard pouches but as a treat because it's Christmas she has them and then on to other things, I've got some toilet gel. Um, I'm trying not to buy toilet cleaner, bleach, that kind of thing, but I, I still need to at the minute. So I went for the ocean flavor, I was gonna say. You're certainly not gonna eat this. The ocean scent from Aldi. Some bubble bath because we have about this much left and we both use bubbles in the bath. Two oat milks, some pineapple juice, and lemonade because that is my favourite beverage at any point of the year. Um, pineapple juice and lemonade mixed together. Lush. I've got two peach and passion fruit flavoured sparkling water just to have kind of during the day um, to boost my water intake. Got full fat coke for Joe. Um, some Tropical Blast, this is kind of like fake lilt. Um, again, just for kind of during the day and stuff. Cherry Lucasade, just because I really fancied it. Probably shouldn't drink it because the amount of sugar and caffeine in it, but I won't have much at a time. So there's that. Some fake, uh, what are they called? So these are like fake Strongbow dark, dark Fruits, is it? Yeah, Dark Fruits. Um, for Joe, he's not got much in the way of alcohol just because, like I say, I'm heavily pregnant if shit hits the fan. <laughs> he needs to be able to drive me somewhere. So he can't be drinking. So he's got a couple just to have like around Christmas, but nothing crazy. And then onto this side, this is kind of the main bulk of our snacks. And I mean, to be quite honest, it doesn't even look like that much, really. I mean, it's mainly crisp, but I'll share with you nonetheless. So we've got some, whoa, timber. So we've got Aldi's answer to Gillian's because they're actually pretty good. And I just fancied some like fancy chocolate. And then I've got some fake Mars bars and fake Snickers. They're just kind of just to have in, just as a kind of snacky thing, um, like during the week and stuff. And then we've got 
sour cream and onion, salt and vinegar, and barbecue flavoured like fake Pringles. I'm gonna say like fake everything because obviously Aldi is like just land of the dupes. Um, so those, some crinkle cut, lightly salted crisps, and some mature cheddar and onion crisps, so cheese and onion, <laughs> um, some kind of like party mix, sour cream and chive, these are actually really nice as well, um, and then some teddy faces again there just to kind of have during the week. And then this is kind of the bulk of things. So we do have some stuff still in the fridge and freezer from last week to kind of do our meals um, for this week. So if it doesn't look like a lot, that is why. Um, but yeah, we will start this end. So these two are actually a gift for my dad. We found this kind of little set thing in Aldi and it's like a whiskey tumbler thing with some rocks that you can freeze so you can have whiskey on the rocks um, without diluting it. So I thought that was pretty cool and that was £4.50. No it wasn't, it was £4.99. Um, and it's one of those like, it's got a point on it so it sits funny. Um, yeah, and there's a recipe on the back for some kind of cocktail -y thing I guess. So I thought to go with that I would get him a bottle of whiskey because it is his birthday on the 22nd, which is tomorrow, I think. That's today. Oops. Um, so yeah, got those there for him. And then on to kind of our main food shop, we have a loaf of tiger bread. This is from Aldi. This is so, so nice. The bread that they do like in this kind of packaging, I think they do three different versions. I think there's like a normal white loaf, tiger loaf, and like a seeded. All three of them are so nice. They're like really thick and they're just super tasty. So we have that. Two packets of two part bakes. Find these really handy to have in the cupboard at all times and especially at Christmas, just because if you run out of fresh bread and you obviously don't want to go out and get any, then it's just ping this in the oven for 10 minutes. Job's good and tastes really good. So yeah, always have that in. I've got some cinnamon and raisin bagels. They're kind of my breakfast for the week. And then Joe's picked out these plain sugar waffles. And then on to kind of frozen stuff. A lot of party food because it's Christmas if you hadn't already established. So we have, obviously you can tell most of these are from Asda, um, sweet chili, king prawns, tempura king prawns, cheese drawers, got these last year and they were really nice and they weren't actually 125, they were like 63p, so win. Mozzarella sticks, mac and cheese bites, nacho cheese bites, these are from Aldi and so are these duck spring rolls because who doesn't like a picky tea? Let's be friggin honest, it's the best tea no matter what age you are, so there is all of that and I'm pretty sure, I mean all of these kind of supermarkets tend to say, all our ranges cook at the same temperature for the same time. So hopefully it'll be, a cook well, more or less the same, 200 degree degrees on all the Asda bits and 190 on the um, thing. So hopefully it'll more or less take the same time. Anyway, Southern Fried Chicken Thigh Burgers. I've mentioned these before. They are super, super tasty. They're 2 99 and you get two in there and they're just really really tasty um so there's those for like just a quick tea in the week and then on to kind of fresh stuff um we do eat meat and dairy in this house so if that's not your kind of thing i mean if you haven't already established by all of this that we eat meat um then yes we do um but yeah if that's not your kind of thing just click click out of the video so fruit wise we've got some raspberries strawberries and red grapes and some rather green bananas which I'm quite excited about to be fair because I like them when they've just turned yellow when they're still a tiny bit hard um, so they should hopefully last quite a while um, in terms of like date um, so we've got those I've got two pints of semi-skimmed milk a pack of profiteroles we're gonna have these I think on Christmas Day as like a dessert and then we've got some caramel pots of chalk. These are like 
pots of joy i think they're called the normal like branded versions um yeah they're really really nice as well two packs of ham i've got the just normal cooked one and some honey roast again just have sandwiches in the week i've got some sweet potato burgers again these are super super tasty joe's not really a fan of sweet potato but i really like these so even if i end up just having both of them that's fine um and then i also got these ultimate burgers and they are apparently made with british brisket and chuck meat so hopefully they'll be nice and you can freeze them so i might just shove them in the freezer again we can just have them for dinner one night i just realized probably need buns at least for those because those i feel like you can have like as they are um because they're just like thigh meat it's not like shaped into a burger whereas like those are so i don't know we'll figure that out anyway so then we've got some cheese this is all for joe i'm not going to eat any of this so in case you're like worried that i shouldn't be eating certain things i don't really like these kind of things so none of them are for me um so we've got some spicy cheddar with chili some double gloucester with onion and chive and some mature blue stilton veggie wise i've got some brussels sprouts that have seen better days um i definitely wish i got them in asda because they looked a lot nicer and they were only like 20p in there um but hey ho got them so they'll have to do some carrots a smallish pack of carrots and a pack of baby corn because i really fancied corn for a change probably will just have that during the week rather than for christmas but i figured i'd get it anyway because you can just freeze it so it'd be fine i've got some lazy roast potatoes because how many times can i say i'm heavily pregnant and if you've been following me for a while you'll know my oven is freaking awful so i don't want to be slaving over roast potatoes and then turn to shit um on the day so i figured i'd get lazy potatoes and hope for hope for the best really um so yeah these are just goose fat roast potatoes and they look really really nice um so yeah got those likewise yorkshire puddings i could easily make my own but like i've said my oven is terrible I don't want to have to faff about on Christmas Day. I want to just shove things in and let it do its thing. So got those. They are just kind of like giant Yorkshire puddings. Um, and then I've got some pre-made stuffing balls as well. I do normally just use like um, sage and onion like stuffing mix. Um, but I figured I'd get some nice kind of fresh, again, pre-made balls. The only thing I plan on making myself, if you haven't already established by the items here, is pigs in blankets. Because I find shop-bought pigs in blankets are not very good. Like, the bacon tends to be really fatty and it just falls off and it's just a bit crap, really. So I figured I'd get some normal sausages and some streaky bacon, make my own and yeah so got those and some normal um back bacon because these are on two for four pounds these the bacon and the sausages this wasn't in the offer um so i figured instead of getting like those two i would get those two and that one that doesn't really make much sense but it does in my head <laughs> bacon yay and then the last thing gammon I mean what's christmas without gammon let's let's be real so this is a unsmoked gammon with muscovado sugar and bay leaves so we're probably gonna just cook this up might even cook it in the slow cooker I'm not 100 percent sure how i'm gonna do it yet and mainly have this on boxing day because what is boxing day without 9th of january i thought i'd just check the date then um what is boxing day without cold meats and snacky crap um if you're not from the uk boxing day the day after christmas day the day that you eat all the crap in the world um a lot of the time over in england we tend to just have like cold meat and like just snacky stuff like that i don't know what people do in other countries if you are from another country and you do something different the day after um christmas day do let me know in the comments because i'd be really curious so that concludes our food haul. I now have to somehow fit all of this stuff in our 
um, relatively small fridge freezer. Uh, so that will be fun. I'm just going to give it a quick clean out and then try and organise this as best I can. Would you like, would you like something? Can I help you? No. <laughs> So, I hope you have enjoyed this video and I don't know, I was going to say found it helpful, but it's probably not helpful unless you want to know what snacky crap that Aldi and Asda have right now. <laughs> so, I'm going to try and get this edited and uploaded fairly soon so it's actually applicable. Um, apologies, I look like this, but like I said, we've had a rather early start. I'm going to go put the kettle on now. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.